It's 10 p.m. The last flights land and taxi in for the night. However, the workday is in full swing for the night crew team, who perform rigorous maintenance until sunrise. I love working night crew because it's like the maintenance side of the house. So you learn a lot more as far as about the aircraft in general, of little maintenance uh, actions that we partake in. Also, you just learn it's a good atmosphere. The personnel that I work with are awesome. All my Marines are awesome, so I love it. The pilots walk away trusting the maintainers will perform critical steps before tomorrow's flights. One of these tasks is referred to as turning the jet. Turning the jet um, is pretty much you being able to go up into the aircraft and turn on both engines, bring both engines online. So we will go into the jet, um, we'll actually check the limits. So you want to make sure everything's in limitations for the aircraft when you're starting up the jet and uh, it's a safe environment for all the personnel around. It's also a job that requires several moving parts. The low power turn call and the plane captain will communicate uh, the low power turn call would uh, actually tell the plane captain, hey, I'm about to move flight services or I'm about to bring this uh, jet engine up to 80%. We communicate with hand and arm signals. We got a lot of hand and arm signals. We got our safety diamond. Make sure no one steps in front of you at all times. No one steps in front of the intake. So if someone is getting in a danger area, it's our job as power line and as a PC to ensure that safety and stop them. Reporting from Royal Australian Air Force Base, Tyndall, Australia, I'm Corporal Anthony Reyes.